Hi guys, I wanted to do a video today about Battle Rockets, or more specifically, Battle Rockets 2.0. This is a single player and multiplayer shooter. Um, it's kind of a shooter, if that's the best way to describe it. Um, you basically like, um, you do have shooting mechanics and you play as a character and you've got eight different uh, challenges in the single player mode. So each one is its own kind of level where you need to need to sort of achieve the objective uh, of the level. So they do vary actually. So it might be that you need to um, c defeat the uh, defeat the enemy character or this one, for example, you have to collect uh, collect the most coins. They do vary in terms of what the different objectives are. And so you kind of uh, move the uh, left analog stick and basically go for go for one of the uh, one of the missions or one of the challenges uh you've also got kind of a uh, super challenges as well so kind of more difficult the same challenge as the standard but just uh, made more difficult so let me uh jump into one of them and i'll talk to you kind of a bit more about the game uh, let me see let me go for this one so um using the uh, uh left analog stick you move the character around and you need to um use the uh the uh uh, face buttons uh, so O is uh, circle sorry is uh, is to shoot um, but you've got different types of bullets so you can uh, do kind of the spreading bullet right now which is with square you've got the shoot uh, the straight uh, straight bullets which is with circle you've got kind of these bigger bullets with triangle and then it seems like I can kind of lay these sort of uh, mines or bombs on the ground as well with uh, with X so this game actually came out in 2020 and the developer Gumbo Games basically re-released it uh, recently uh, with kind of Battle Rockets 2.0 he called it um, which is basically an improved version of the of the original version now and it's also a uh, Vita exclusive game which is pretty impressive that the the guy to, did the effort took the effort to release a exclusive game for the Vita um, and then took the time to actually go and update it and improve it as well. So uh, really, really kind of impressive in terms of that he would put that effort into it. Um, <laughs> what do I think of the actual game? It's okay. It's it's okay. It's I, I don't love it, to be honest. I do really appreciate that the developer took the time to uh you know to to bring this to vita and to to update it um you know it shows real kind of dedication like uh, you know i really appreciate that um i think from a gameplay perspective it's fine i think the challenge the challenges that you've got you know at least provide some variety to it um but it just I, I i feel like it's just there's things missing that make it a great game um i feel like the sprites are too big firstly so that you know when you are facing off against an opponent it's really hard to avoid bullets um because the sprites are actually pretty pretty big on the screen um the controls feel very loose so when you're it doesn't you know it kind of moving is almost a little bit too fast and not precise um and it just i feel like the challenges are just don't necessarily make the game better um it's too almost restrictive in terms of what you need to do the the multiplayer aspect is actually is actually pretty pretty good um so i was uh, messing around with that and i can see it being kind of fun because you're playing literally on the uh on the same vita which is uh which is pretty good um so let me just kind of show you guys obviously i'm playing myself but um that's fine it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. so uh you pick your two characters you confirm um, who they are and then you start the game and so you know you've got the two characters moving around of each uh, each analog stick you use the face buttons or the d-pad to uh, to shoot um, and so you can play against someone locally with you which is which is quite cool I like the idea of that actually I do I do think that is that is pretty cool um, you know I don't uh, I, you know, I think uh, I could probably play this with my kids. It'll be fun enough. But like I said, I think the sprites are just a little bit too big, where it's really hard to avoid uh, avoid damage when you've got uh, when you've got the enemy kind of shooting and moving around quickly. Like I said, it's okay. It's okay. Um, you know, if you've got someone to play it with you, then I can see it being a little bit more fun. These eight challenges, um, they are varied, which is which is good. Um, so you know, this one was just basically need to get through a maze. Uh, and survive without touching the sides. I think again because the control, because the sprites are so big and the controls are quite loose, uh, you know, it's actually it's it's quite hard, but not fun hard or you know, challenging. It's just it's just yeah, it's just not that great to be honest. Um, 
So, yeah. And, you know, I think there's even some aspects in terms of the game design where, like, you know, you can see I'm taking damage here and the character kind of, you know, puts on that face that uh, that she's taken damage, which is fine. Um, but I, th I feel like there should be more in terms of the screen um, kind of giving you that indication, like, you know, maybe going red, you've got sort of a moment of um, a clear moment of uh, uh, invulnerability before you kind of can take damage again. Uh, you know, it's, it's some good ideas here. I just feel like a more straight up sort of arena shooter rather than these challenges probably would have been a bit more fun, especially if there's um, variety to the arenas, like, you know, kind of, kind of like having these maze levels. But, um, you know, as barriers, we need to try and attack each other still. You know, I think there's almost too much health as well for the characters. So when you are doing the uh, the straight up uh, straight up sort of uh, um, battle, is this an example of one of them? So the different modes. Yeah, so this, this is an example of just a straight up battle almost. We need to kill the enemy. Um, the health is so high that it just, it's almost like you just kind of want the level to end because it's just too much. Um so you know, I I think there are some good ideas here. I think it just uh, it could could be a little bit better. You know, like I said, I do appreciate the developer for taking the time to to bring it to Vita. You know, the fact that he enabled a multiplayer mode as well that's that's very cool. But it's just uh, it's it's not the best shooter on the Vita. You know, it's probably the kind of nicest way I can I can say it. Um, but look, guys, it's on the Vita store. If you want to check it out, um, they, the original version of Battle Rockets isn't on the store anymore. But if you did buy the original version, you get this version free. So, you know, that's a, that's a nice plus point for anyone who bought the original. Um, otherwise, the one on the store right now is Battle Rockets 2.0. Uh, I think he, the developer mentioned it'll come to PS4 eventually. But for now, it is Vita exclusive, which, again, is very nice of, uh, nice of developer to actually take the time to, to program it just for Vita. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments, have you played Battle Rockets? What do you think of it? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.